Hey guys, it's me Wes and I am going to show you how to change out the different variable resistance bumpers in your total knee as well as add in the spring. So here you go. The total knee ships with four different bumpers. A red one which is in my knee right now, yellow, black, and an orange. In order to switch out the bumpers, on the front of the knee you have this panel here. You insert a screwdriver in the front and you flip it out. All right, in order to get the bumper out of the knee, you insert your screwdriver again at the bottom edge of the bumper, in between the little metal piece and the bumper. Then you slide it out. And then you can grab the bumper and you can remove it from the knee. So this is the bumper. Now I'll replace it with the black piece here. So I pull out the black piece. And putting it in is a little bit harder. You have these two holes on the bottom here and you have the two holes here. What you have to do is you have to line them up using your fingers. Kind of slide it in the right place in order to align the, the bumper. And then you take your screwdriver and you put it on the top and you push it down in. And then you can take your fingers and finish pushing it in. And then you can put this back on by inserting the top end first and then sliding the bottom in and voila. And so now I'm going to show you how to add the spring. This is the spring system. It comes with three different springs which are color coded. Blue, red, and yellow. And this spring, what you do is you take this white piece, you insert the spring all the way in it. It's best to hold it down like this. Then you insert this black piece in the top like that. And then you take the ball of this piece and you insert it through and it drops in like that. And then you have this piece right here which is the hexagonal wrench. I believe it's called an Allen wrench, and it has to be a 3 16 inch wrench. Then you insert it in this screw of here, if it's already put together, and you loosen it, and take your aluminum pylon out of the knee. like so. Now you can see inside the knee. And there's a hole there which is just right for this component. So what you want to do is you want to push the knee into full extension so that this metal piece inside where I took out the bumper is now open more right here so that you can get the ball to go around this joint here. So you stick it in through the bottom into the hole that there is and then you'll see the metal fall right here. Then what you need to do is once you have the white piece properly into the hole that was inside of the bottom there, then you insert the spring you want. In this case I'm using the yellow spring. Then you insert the black and long wire through here. And then you pull this ball at the end around the metal piece. Like so. Until you have it locked in place. So then, what we can do, is we can place back in the bumper. So, I'm going to place in the bumper. You have to get the knee into full extension. Not only do you have to try to get this bumper in, but you now have this spring that's trying to counteract whatever you're trying to do. And it makes it a little bit more difficult. However, when you finally get it, 
you'll be able to see that you got it. And then, there you go. So now the bumper's in. I'm going to put the top back on. And now I'm going to insert the pylon back into the knee. And in this case, I had marked it with a Sharpie so I knew where to put it. And then once you have it in line, you just tighten it up using the 3 16th wrench. And voila. Now, Let's take it for a test drive. Yeah. AMP for life.